What's up guys, this is a tutorial or a video tutorial on how to uh, back up your cracked apps on your computer. So this is so this is something like um, when you get your, uh, what's it called, if you download uh, apps from Installus, which is a free way to get paid apps. So I have a, a video on how to do that too. So go check out, I'll put a link in the description or you can check out my channel for other videos. So. <clears throat> for this method, you'll need to get App Sync, and you need to have your uh, you need to have iTunes nine, iTunes nine or higher. Uh, so now let's begin with our video tutorial. All right, I'll be right back. Let me get a better view for you so you can see. All right, what's up, guys? I'm back with uh, my iPod here. Let me turn it on for you. Uh, do watch the video on high quality because you'll be able to see better. Uh, so what you need to do to get AppSync is go to Cydia, so open up Cydia, and let's wait. And then you go to Manage and go to Sources. <coughs> so after you go to Sources, you need to add a source, like this one. It's called Haculo. Uh. Let me get that for you. So what you need to do to add a source is click right here on edit. Right here on edit. And hold on just a second it's loading. Let me pause it. Alright so what you need to do is add a source like I said. And to add a source you go to edit right here. Right here edit. And then hit add right here. And then add a source that is hack. Uh, add this c y d i a dot hack ulo dot u s all right and once you do this just click on add source and then has been reported do add anyway because you'll need this and it's gonna start updating my sources because I already have this source and wait for it for now so it's now downloading its uh files and stuff. So just wait for it. It'll add your source in just a minute. So now it's reloading. So as soon as it reloads, uh, it's going to give you a button that says reload to Cydia. So click on, um, what's it called? Click on reload to Cydia right here. And then once you do that, uh, what you can do is, what you're going to do is you're going to get this screen uh, hold on. you're gonna get this screen right here and then hit done which is located uh, right here let me draw that for you so click done right there and then once you do that uh, click on the hackylo.us uh, repository or a repository and depending on what firmware you have on uh, uh, 3.0 or 3.1. 3.1 works with 3.1.2, which is the Black Rain jailbreak. So if you did the Black Rain jailbreak, then you need to get the app sync for OS 3.1. So click on it, and then over here, right here, you will see, right here, you will see a. Uh, hold on, give me just a second. Um, right here, you will see a install button and install it. And then you will have to for um for it to work uh, smoothly, you will need to uh what's it called? You'll need to reboot your device. So if you got it from BlackRain, do the method um do your method like re uh shut it uh, turn your iPod off and then open up BlackRain and reboot it through BlackRain. So <coughs> so once you do that and just hit back and then go back to your home screen and then reload your device and I'll be right back with uh, my computer and what you need to do on iTunes so I'll be right back guys so now that you got your uh, files and everything or app sync installed on your iPod or iPhone what you need to do now is go to your uh, iTunes and then once you get to iTunes you need to go to your iPod um, your iPod under devices, your name, and then your iPod, and then what it's what it's gonna give you is uh, this 
screen right here and what you need to do is go to your application tab applications tab when I was loading and once you do that what you need to do is it's gonna be like this right now so what you do is click on sync applications and then hit apply down here and then now it's gonna start saying backing up uh, your iPod or anything minus is backing up problems is iPod because that's what it's called right now uh, that's what my iPod's named so right now it's backing up my iPod and then <coughs> on my iPod if you want hold on let me connect it for you it, that's my iPod right there and it's gonna show you that it's syncing right now you can see that right now so it's backing up my uh, backing up any new um, apps that I might have downloaded from installers so it's syncing so let's wait for a second <coughs> sorry about that and it's done syncing now and a cool feature about this part of iTunes I'm just going to show you this it's totally out of topic but I'm going to show you this anyways what you can do is on, let me maximize this so with this feature what you can do is you can actually arrange your apps from here so like let's say I wanted to move let me pull this up right here say I wanted to move iTunes and iPhone and switch them around so I'm going to move it right here and then hit apply and then on my iPod what it would do is it would sync it <coughs> alright I'm having a cold right now well I have a cold right now and it's going to start syncing and then once it's done syncing hold on let me unlock it for you so on, once it's done syncing it's going to switch iPhone and I, iTunes and iPhone us um, to um, to this part so hold on let, let me make it clear to you let me see if I can do this <coughs> sorry guys so again uh, if I want to switch voice memos with winterboard right here hit apply and then on my iPod it's going to start syncing and then it's done syncing I think so no, it's still continuing alright so once it's done syncing let me refresh that now once it's done syncing it's going to switch uh, voice memos and winter board um, to a different or as you want it right here so you can see Winterboard, Voice Memos, Blackboard, that's my school account, and Dtunes. And you can't see the themes in anything, themes or anything, but it's still pretty good to like arrange your apps or anything if you don't want to do it on your iPhone, because it, iPhone or iPod Touch, because it does kind of take a while to arrange your apps. So this you can just move around like that. You can just move around, you know, do anything with it practically. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will see you again next time. And please rate, comment, subscribe my videos. Uh, there will be more videos coming in pretty soon. So, alright guys, uh, have a nice day or maybe even weekend because it's almost close to weekend. So, I'll see you guys.